Hey, welcome everybody. Joe for the Joe Wins Project, and I appreciate you stopping by watching this video. Today, I thought I would just kind of show bits and pieces of this little music room here. It's nothing fancy at all, um, but I figured I could uh, let you kind of see what you don't see. Like if I'm uh, live with Stafford's Music Studio, pretty much all you see is a banner in the background and maybe a couple of signs or something. So let's show you the rest of the room. Uh, well, most of it anyway, and you can see what's going on here. Well, first we're going to start with, uh, this is the back of the door here. Uh, I have a poster of Jimmy that I, I love that shot of him right there. And then if you move over, there's a, uh, it's really a beach towel, you know, that I have hanging up that I just thought my wife found that for me. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, this is a... A tripod for my smartphone so if I'm shooting a video in this direction uh, with the amps I kind of have that angle right there um, a lot of people have asked about this stuff here these are, are not mine this is my stepdaughter's uh, shelf so when she moved out last year she didn't have room to take this so she asked if she could leave it and I was like sure I thought it would look great in the uh, in the background shot yeah people have asked me if any of that stuff was for sale uh, no it's not it's not for sale it's, it doesn't belong to me so i have i can't do that now she can but i don't think she wants to so anyway she's got some pretty cool stuff up there she's also a huge star wars fan which i don't you don't see too much of that she likes comics and stuff like that so anyway if you move over to this shelf now this is mine this is my little shelf here uh, of course, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Always have been since I was a kid. I don't have a lot of Star Wars memorabilia like some big time collectors. I just have a few things here and there that uh, actually, uh, that's some super glue, so you have to excuse that. These figures that are standing up, R2, R3 sent me that, and he sent me that, uh, sorry for the light, that Stormtrooper, and uh, a couple other figures back there, the Star Wars, uh, I think it's Darth Vader's car. And there's another figure laying back there, behind there, and it's, uh, I think it's a Luke. Yeah, and then there's a couple of retro figures, uh, a couple of them fall, have fallen. He also sent me this uh, Star Wars uh, box uh, from uh, Collectible Box. It's got some cool, it's got C-3PO, Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Princess Leia, and then uh, I don't want to touch this, this, uh, at at here because it's very can fall apart very easy now this right here is a <clears throat> my buddy jason shambera that i had that little online duo duo with uh, shambera and wentz his uh, fiance was kind enough to make that for me and of course that's that's me ain't that cool man that's cool. <laughs> got the florida state hat because i would always wear my florida state hat all the time and uh, even got the logo, my logo on the front. That's uh, that's attention to detail right there. That's that's incredible. Anyway, when you move down, I got a. Uh, there's just a cloth for cleaning the neck of the guitar. That's the uh, the original box that the snow speeder came in. I have a few of those ships that I got off of eBay. Now that's just a little rinky dink Millennium Falcon that was at Walmart. But I had this when I was a kid, and of course this too. And there's the box that came with it, and. I just thought it was pretty cool. Uh, my son got me this Sanford and Son truck. That's my favorite TV show of all time. And uh, here's the box that the X-Wing came in. And, you know, he got me that for Father's Day last year. If you move down here, there's a couple of necks here that I have that were for some former uh, projects that really, um, you know, I swapped out the necks or whatever. So I thought I'd keep them. It would look kind of cool in the background and... Oh, yeah, look, you know, the Line 6 Spider 4. God damn, I don't know why people, there's a lot of people that hate those amps, and I just never understood that. But, hey, to each his own. The Jimi Hendrix Wah that I still have in the box, I played it. It's great. I just like to switch out my Wah pedals every now and again. The R&R, uh, &R, which is, you know, rock and roll. My sister-in-law sent me those, and they were just uh, silver, and I airbrushed them and then striped them up, and then... You know, so I put them in here. I was going to put them on the wall, but I really don't have nowhere to put them just as of yet. So if you move over a little bit further, now we're getting to the guitar area. 
these are uh, the guitars I have on stands at the moment. So if I'm playing live or just jamming, I can just, they're, you know, easy access, right? If you look in the uh, guitar rack here, um, this is a 2000 Epiphone Les Paul. My parents got me this when my father retired. Uh, he retired in 2001, but this has a, the year is 2000 on it. But I always keep that. And it plays great, actually. It plays really good. That uh, Fender Squire right there, that uh, I I did that to it. I kind of relicked it myself, and you know, but that guitar still plays great. I think it's like a '90, it's a mid to late '90s model, and that Squire is actually really good. Um, that is a Keith Urban model that I got off HSN or whatever show that you know sells all those. A couple of them, I think. Uh, it's a Les Paul type design and um it was uh, it came with an amp and uh strap and all that cheap crap i got rid of all that and i kept the guitar and it was like 360 bucks and it plays pretty good it plays pretty good for what it is i'm stepping on stuff here all right sorry so there is the uh that is the jackson i got that from um guitar center in 2015 it was on sale for like 220 bucks and it actually plays really well i was really shocked i sat there and played it for like an hour close to an hour before i decided to buy it <clears throat> and then this uh strat type guitar here um i got it um off of ebay years and years ago probably in the, uh, like 2000 or 99 and uh when I learned how to do a setup, this is one of the first guitars I did a setup on, and it's played great ever since. And this guitar came with a little amp and all that. It was only like 160 bucks. I couldn't believe how good this guitar played for the, the my, my amount of money. Uh, you know, it's not a top of the line Strat, but you know, it plays pretty good. And then uh, of course the uh, EVH Wolfgang Standard, the Tri Fade. I love this guitar, and I have quite a few Snark tuners. As you can see, uh, those are great tuners, by the way. Um, played this guitar last night on Stafford's Music Studio. We went live, um, live Saturday Night Jam or something, and uh, <clears throat> played this guitar. This is my what I call the Bumblebee Tribute model. It's a, uh, you know, of course in that Bumblebee style, and that's a that is a Seymour Duncan custom EVH seventy eight pickup is what what the name of it is floyd rose uh 1000 uh i put a 500k pot and i ordered an mxr volume knob or just an mxr knob you know reminiscent of what eddie would always do as you can see on these standards and um this neck i got from uh somebody online in canada it's got steel frets and um i went ahead and uh it came with an R2 nut already on there, but I went ahead and, and put stainless steel locking screws on it uh, last week. Boy, that makes a huge difference. Uh, my string tensioner is just a little crooked, as you can tell, but uh, it doesn't really hurt anything. It doesn't affect anything. It still does the job. I'm waiting for a Charvel sticker to put on here. I had a watermark uh, logo, but it didn't stick right, and it just kind of slid off. And when you touched it, it just slid right off. So I ordered a transparent sticker, and hopefully that'll come soon. All right, you move over here, and this is the, uh, I love this guitar, another EVH standard. I um, can't remember if it's called Black Fade or what it's called, but I love, it looks like the surface of the moon or something, like you're hovering above the, the uh, surface of the moon, like you're getting ready to land or something. I don't know, it just, I love that color. Um fantastic guitar like I, the video i made the other day actually yesterday about the wolfgang standards are worth every penny they to me they are they're just incredible oh this is like a little glow dome that lights up and puts all the um stuff on the ceiling and shit you know when you're doing stuff it's pretty cool uh this is my uh pv 5150 half stack that i've had for many many years it's not a block letter 
it's the signature model and you can see where I would mark it with a sharpie so I know exactly where my settings go a lot of people frown on that but I didn't really care it's my amp I can do what I want with it so I would um mark it so I would know if the knobs got moved I could put it back where where I wanted it to go and up top I got my boss katana 100 watt head solid state I love this head um my wife got me this for christmas a few years ago um there is a uh, well that's a phone case and then a little black star mini fly what that is sorry and of course i got a couple things on top got the van halen pin it's got some uh or not pin the tin pick tin holder whatever you call it and um the mini Frankenstein, which is, and the detail is incredible on that. I got it from the Van Halen store.com. Uh, my mom got me this for Christmas because I told her, I said, one day I'd like to have a, a brand new red pickup truck and a camper and just go to different campsites. You know, if I could do that, that'd be my dream to travel when I, you know, if, if I'm able to retire. And she got me this for Christmas. And I thought that was really sweet for my mom to do that. That was awesome. Thanks, mom. And of course, we got the EVH flag banner up top. I got this from the uh, Van Halen store, and it was like uh, I think it ran about sixty bucks, maybe. It was it was kind of high, but it was worth it. Uh, fits perfect right there, you know. Here's a couple of prints. Uh, I got this um, off uh, eBay years ago, and it looks like to me it looks like maybe that's from the first tour uh you can tell eddie is playing the the stripe the black and white stripe before he transformed it into what we know now as the frankenstein i believe but uh i always like this print i had two of them i have this one and another one where it was a, he was doing a different pose i gave it to my son and my son accidentally dropped it and shattered the the glass and everything i don't know if he still has the picture or not now this right here they threw in on the bottom i don't know why that that album has nothing to do with this time frame of this photo, but uh, and nonetheless, I thought it was a cool shot, a great shot. So down here, I got a, a that's an old Dan Electro Pastrami overdrive pedal that I still use to this day. I got it from a store called Sam Goody years ago in the mall. Does anybody remember Sam Goody by any chance? It actually does pretty good for what it is, and there's my evh wah box you move up you got the uh the uh stripe series it's not a 5150 i just put that decal on there um great guitar amazing guitar thousand dollars i love it uh i waited on this guitar for a long time it was on back order when they first came out and uh i didn't think i was ever going to get one i was finally able to get one and um uh, I love this guitar, man. And uh, this print right here, I got from the VanHalenStore.com as well. And uh, of course, that's got to be the Diver Down Tour, I would imagine. Uh, fantastic shot. And of course, you come on the side of the amp here, and we got a few packs of EVH strings. There's an adapter to make a, a plug. Uh, instead of three prong, prong two prong. Uh, always keep an Allen wrench handy. So if you got a loosen these up and you know tighten your strings keep a couple of tools on standby as well a pair of nail clippers so i can keep the nails trimmed when i'm playing uh this is a uh, smartphone holder that i put on my uh mic stand here so when i'm playing live i can um look at the chat and over here i got a thing to hold me some picks of my own little custom picks i just thought that was cool uh this is a low budget nuno betancourt model you can see the the there's no floyd rose it's just standard fenders type tremolo um this guitar is okay my wife got it for me i think it's in 2015 2015 or 14 and um uh guitar center had them on a black friday special for 99 bucks so she got uh, my son and myself one i thought that was really nice so I keep this guitar specifically um, for like playing Motley Crue or something so I can have it a whole step down. So if you move over, this is my new mixer, my uh, Zoom 
Live Track L8. This is an amazing mixer. It's great to go live. Um, my backing tracks are loaded onto the MP3 player. This in turn goes to the laptop. Uh, thanks, big shout out to David Stafford who told me about this. Um, and it's really great, man. It really helps with your uh, audio quality. All right, and from the mixer, we go to the wall over here. Uh, my stepdaughter got me that shot of Eddie, and it's autographed. Who knows if it's real? It might be a print. I don't know. Who cares? I think it's a great shot of him on the uh, 5150 tours. I remember he wore those different color parachute pants. Uh, this is a picture my little granddaughter made for me. I thought that was really cute, and uh, so I got it hung up there. Uh, of course, you got a uh, Out of Time, Back to the Future license plate, one of my favorite movies of all time. Here's an EVH 10 sign. I really liked it, and I've had it for a while. Um, and I got uh, Van Halen, California license plate. And we got the uh, Joe's Guitar Lounge. My, my wife got me that. Uh, and you move over a little bit further, we got the Almanac from Back to the Future. And if you look really close, you can see Marty McFly's driver's license. I thought that was cool. <laughs> uh, the Van Halen comic, I had that years and years ago, lost it, and I uh, found one online, ordered it. I had this Van Halen wood, it's made out of wood, and it's uh, got some kind of shiny top on it. I don't know what you would call it, but I love purple. Purple's a great color. I uh, had that made at a theme park called Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina years ago and I kept it all this time. I was probably 19 years old. There is an awesome uh, pencil drawing that somebody did on on uh, this, I don't know, some kind of just paper. I don't know if it's really thin canvas or what, but of course of Eddie and it looks so amazing. And they had it for sale on eBay so I bought it and it wasn't that much money. And I was really shocked at the details. Like, damn, that looks good. So, you go up a little further. I got a couple of these little uh, figures here. Jimi Hendrix, Ace Freely, and there's another Hendrix at Woodstock that my uh, son got me for Christmas a couple years ago. I thought it was really cool. That's uh, <clears throat> like a neon sign when you turn it on. It's, it's red, and it's uh, Van Halen, of course. So you're looking at the computer desk now. I got some uh, Eddie stuff there. There's a picture of my lovely parents. The Yamaha THR-10X that I have not played in a long, long time. And I'll explain why that is here in just a second. Uh, we got a tripod. I bought this from Walmart here. Uh, it's really cool. It's got this nice, bright LED ring light. And then you can uh, put your phone in here, uh, snap it in there. It holds it, and it's really, really great. And I had this banner made, Joe Wentz Project banner, just to something to put on the wall. We got some little monitors here, nothing fancy. There's some batteries uh, for my tuners. You can get these off Amazon, man. Both, they both can't, you know, two packs for like $5.99. All right, now let's get down to business to the pedal board, right? That's a lot of people ask me about, you know, my tone and what I got going on. So if you go from, uh, Sorry about the cables, but that comes with the territory, man. Um, so when I'm coming out of my guitar, I go into this EVH wah, and then I have the uh, flanger, of course. And out of that, we go into here like this, this direction, come back around to the silencer, and that goes in to my Zoom G1X4. And then coming out, you start with the delays, the harmonist, the quintessence, another digital delay, reverb, and another delay, and of course the uh, Boss RC3 loop station. And of course, right there, uh, whenever I want to go back to the that great tone of the 80s, I got a Rockman right there that's ready to go whenever I want to. Don't use it much, but it's pretty cool to have just to, if you want to just play around. It's cool to have these little toys, man, to have some great sound. So I was going to tell you why I don't play the Yamaha THR-10X anymore. Here's why. When I got this Zoom G1X4, this unit right here was $99.99. And I could not believe the presets. There's two presets that that's all I use. And I think the way they have it numbered, it's preset 10 and preset 11. Of course, you hit the up button to go to 11, the left button to go back down to 10. And the preset 11 is more of a 
lighter tone it's still a little crunchy but it's not you know full overdrive so when you dial back your volume on your guitar you get a really nice sound clean sound but that's why i don't play the you know when i plus i needed something on the floor you know you really can't do that with the yamaha it's you have to you know just push buttons on the top of it unless they make a foot switch now which i, I have no idea but ever since i got this i kind of dialed in that my main tone that i get out of this I kind of played with the uh, the knobs a little bit and dialed in what I wanted. It wasn't it wasn't a whole lot of adjustment I made to it, but ever since I got this man, it's been just I've been very happy with it. So there you have it. That is the full music room tour here of the Joe Wentz Project. Not nothing really fancy at all, but I thought it'd be cool to share it with you. And uh, you know, you can kind of see vicariously what's going on in here when I'm able to. Uh, do some songs or go live or whatever. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it very much. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. It is Sunday. It's the 31st of January. So I have to go to work here in just a few hours. Take care, everybody. God bless. See you later. Bye-bye.